UFO review number six. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. Uh, this is the first one of these where we've had the full crew here. Surprisingly. <laughs> the AGT weekly UFO review where everything's made up and points don't matter. Exactly. <laughs> except uh, the g- gimbal scale. Except the gimbal scale. Really except the third gimbal scale. <laughs> Never I, the The... Um, you know, we've had a lot of uh, ir- ir- unequivocal proof of UFOs on this show, and I, I have a feeling that these this week's five videos are going to just blow your socks off. Sweet. Uh, I'm not you, wearing any socks. I'm not wearing, yeah, either am I. They're going to put them on. Oh, shit. Right. They're going to blow them on. Uh, all right, without further ado, uh, our first video is from Gatorsburg. Gaithersburg. Gaithersburg, I know Maryland. That uh, this was submitted uh, August 8th, 2021. Um, this is a morphing drone or craft. This person was so startled by this, they had to pull over on the side of the road on the I-270 south from Quince Orchard oh, Road Jesus. and immediately pull out their phone to see this big object flying over the skies. They weren't sure what it was. They've never seen anything like it because it appeared to morph like some sort of Rubik's Cube on access right oh. before their eyes. That's <laughs> sure it's not just a bunch of birthday balloons. <laughs> yeah. That's like a bunch of birthday balloons. That's what Gender it looks like Gender reveal party gone wrong. That's a fucking alien spaceship right there. I, it? I thought I honestly, it looks like shiny. Sure. It looks like shiny, like happy birthday balloons to me. It seemed hard and rigid. It appeared both dark gray and red as it moved. Uh, the lights seemed to encase the craft. Please, please help me identify this. I didn't fake this footage. It is not manipulated. Uh, the strangest of it was so much more uncanny than the video. Thank you. Please help. Um, so we'll go. We'll, we'll, this well, video is almost out. done. There, yeah. <laughs> it's very. It <laughs> dist- sounds shit. very distressed. It sounds like Princess Leia being like, "Fuck, where are your Obi Wan Kenobi's? Where are your only hope? Let's well, solve this, boys." That's a bunch of birthday balloons. It does look like a lot of balloons. It's a bunch of star balloons. Look at them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got that shine on it, like a balloon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like I see, the, yeah. no string attached. Look, yeah, it looks like a fucking. Looks like so, it's got two ch- engines in the back. Yeah, yeah. This is. <laughs> but they look like they're floating. It's not flying. It's floating. You guys are. Well, it's hovering. Those, those are, those are oh, anti-gravitic engines. That's what balloons do. <laughs> but if you look at it's this, it's moving here. across I two seventy like it's moving across the road. Yeah, like that looks like it's floating in the wind. It does not look like it's flying. And it's turning and shit like balloons would in the wind. That, I think oh. that's a bunch of balloons, personally. No, it's got engines, man. I, I, <laughs> see the glow? I am seeing. You see the glow at the back? Yeah, because they're like cellophane balloon. Like they're like. No, <laughs> shit. Nice. I don't. Engine. <laughs> sure. Ion engines. Uh, on for it's zero cool. for zero to gimbal. On uh, and just so we're all aware, zero to gimbal is a zero being um, nothing no but China, China lanterns, and a five being uh, this is. Un- Probably gimbals. Yeah, it's a gimbal, 100% UFO footage. Uh, I'm looking at this one. <laughs> I'll give you this. I'll give you this. When I first watched this video, I went, holy shit. What the hell is that thing? Uh, I still have that, but that you guys said balloons. You've put it in my mind. And at some point, I will give you <laughs> that. I <laughs> feel that perhaps it's a bunch of balloons but i still think what we're seeing is some sort of morphing drone similar to the one we saw in fort mojave arizona uh from a couple weeks ago so i'm going to give this a three out of gimbal wow so five <laughs> That's a- it's got ion two engines in the back it does it, it does look like that like <laughs> look, look at, at this look at that thing <laughs> Like right there, it looks like the engine's like sparking up or Turning, something. That's this is an alien drone scout ship. 
disguised to look like a bunch of balloons. A bunch of disguised to look like a bunch of balloons to throw you fools off. That's There's what the some sad child right now in fucking, where is this? Well, if you have a Gaithersburg, sad child Gaithersburg, yeah. in Gaithersburg that lost balloons on August 8th of 2021, around 6.14 p.m., you let us know. Yeah. Until then, it's a five. I don't even want to hear from Dan and Andrew. What do you you guys think? Zero. (laughs) I hit it with the zero. Those are balloons. Those are balloons. That's... Yeah, I don't know. I, and I'm Those a stooge for this great. shit. I'm I'm all on board for thinking things are UFOs. That's not. Like, you that, see that's that one a bunch the of bottom balloons. right? Yeah, those are balloons. And you can see them like yeah, down chance. in the bottom left hand corner. Abs- I give that <laughs> negative <laughs> negative 1.5 gimbals. <laughs> Let's right. go minus gimbals on this one. All right. Next, uh, next up, we have some lights from Mastic Beach, New York, USA, August 24th. Uh, 2021 MUFON case 117607. We've seen a ton of these orange lights. Um, and I'll say this off the hop that I have looked at as many Starlink videos as I can. And most of the Starlink videos do not shine orange. I've never seen any confirmed Starlink videos that have these orange lights. It's usually more Starlinks too. Exactly. Um, they shot over the Southwest horizon in rapid succession, like bursts from Roman candles. I was standing on the deck of my cottage, which overlooks Narrows Bay, Mastic Beach. Four bright orange amber objects silently shot up over the southwest horizon in rapid succession. The first object gained altitude and moved steadily in the north, northeast northeast direction. I attempted to get a better look through a pair of cheap binoculars, but all I could see was the orange amber light traveling more rapidly than any aircraft I have ever observed. I managed to get my phone out and record the event. God damn it, people. Horizontal. <laughs> Say this all the oh, time. No, oh, they're gone. They lost them. Because <laughs> they sped off back into space. Yeah. Uh, so I, go back. I, I, I assume his descriptions like before he got the of them shooting up into the sky there. Yeah. Like Roman candles. Well, they he seem saw like them from the her- oh. he said he saw them from the takeoff from the horizon. And that's when he got his phone out. So I imagine they shot up from uh, down below there. They shot up and then this first one seems to disappear. And this one, these two just continue on into the clouds. We've seen a lot similar to this. The only thing that I will say is that like, you know, there is a stationary, what appears to be a stationary star in the background there. So right away, we have something of reference and the skyline, which I like. Because then it, it takes out us being like, oh, is this rotation really? Or is it the stars? We can see movement of these things. So we know that they're they're moving across the horizon. Um, they're, they're clipping along pretty good. You know, whenever I see these orange lights because of all the China lantern jokes, my brain firstly goes, Hmm. is it is there a chance that these are China lanterns? Too big Uh, by they're too big boy. Too big by these are too big boy for sure. Too Uh, big by yeah, it's the speed they that they're clipping along. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this one is. That's it's weird because how like when I when you first pulled that up, I was ready to be like, Did we rewatch this video? But because it looks so eerily familiar to the ones that we've seen before we see so many like this with this orange amber light i mean a lot of the times that i'll say differently that is puts this one a little different is that a lot of the other lights we see will come and they seem to hold position slowly either morph into like a triangle and then one disappears and then they all seemingly go after that whereas this one right from the get-go we're seeing these just they're just trucking along in a line until they disappear in, you know, seemingly the cl- the clouds, low hanging, overcast night. It looks like. Dan, uh, I need you to poo poo this because I'm about to give it all the gimbals I got. That's I'm, I don't know what else it could be. Oh yeah, I mean for sure, I'd be like they're UFOs just because don't know what they are. Yeah, uh, there's nothing. Let's start, I mean, we let's... have a frame of reference, but there's no real. I mean. They don't. I mean, I mean is there any? Me, they're not. They're the, not like. The general it's vicinity? not like they're moving fast enough or doing anything crazy for me to be like, okay, it's an intelligently controlled 
a lot of dynamic movement, but they are yeah. moving. Like a lot of times when we see these lights, they don't move. Yeah, the, like what would be normal for us in the other ones we've seen is to see these lights just hovering just where they're frozen right there and not moving too much is what we've seen lots of. And then them drifting into almost a, a triangle formation before disappearing. That's what mm. we've seen lots of. Yeah. Um, let's start at the bottom. Zero to Gimbal. What do you think, Andrew? I'm going to give it a three. I would, it, for it to be a five, I need to see some like dynamic movement, maybe a little bit more pizzazz, but I don't know. I have no fucking clue what else it would be. I don't know. I'm going to give it a three. Uh, yeah, I'd probably, I'm on board with a three because I can't really tell what they are. Part of me wants to say, eh, maybe China Lanterns, if they took up that fast, like, well, the way you described it, they kind of shot up. Uh, if, I mean, not like a Roman candle is not that fast, but I'd be like, maybe and the they, China Lanterns. They don't, but every time, they don't, but every time they don't travel China in the Lanterns, air like that for that long. Like I, I've well, shot a ton of can Roman candles in my day. And unless I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that they're Roman candles. I'm saying like, they are like, if they were China lanterns, if they're Chinese lanterns, uh, I also, I kind of want to be like, that's the only thing I could really think of some kind of illuminated object kind of floating there, whether maybe flares or something. But if they were, every time I think somebody says China lanterns, I'm like, who's, who's releasing all these China lanterns? Yeah. Yeah. Why, are they, why are there so many? Why are they people, so popular? They're a fire hazard. God damn it. Don't be releasing them. Don't They're bad for Nova planes. Scotia. Everybody does. There's articles all the time. Don't <laughs> let out the China lanterns because it fucking gets sucked into plane engines, getting, all kinds of bullshit. You're getting zero wishes from them. Yeah, smashing <laughs> into power lines. And That's all been that shit. disproven, <laughs> debunked. You get zero wishes. None of the wishes <laughs> that you light up with on those lanterns come true. Lands on people's roofs, set their house on fire. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I'd give it a three because I can't see. I'm, saying, I'm on the same thing with kind of Andrew. Like if it were, it's hard to say if they're intelligently controlled, just the fact that they're kind of they're just floating but not in a not in like it's, a like choreographed way or anything like honestly that. there's a there's a video you guys should go watch it's i think it's from ufo review two and it was just me and andrew maybe it was two or three uh of these orange lights and someone's like oh they've got to be airplanes because they're coming in a row like this towards them and then one just does like a quick ass and like a little fucking loop to loop and then just pieces there's out a the quick other little direction. s club seven and the guy's like the what the hell is that um, but same thing, these kind of orangey, orangey lights. Zella, what are you thinking? Zero to gimbal. I like the three. Now, if I'm going to be a skeptic on it, it doesn't have to be a Starlink satellite. It could be other satellites launched that night. Could have been any type of numerous surveillance or instrument satellites could have been launched. So we'd have to check the launch schedules, see what was perhaps launched then. But because we don't know, I'm going with a three as well. Could just they could be, you know, UFOs I, looking down. Scanning. I will, I will agree with you guys. Except the one thing for me is like I was looking at this, and I obviously have a little more time to watch these as I'm putting them together. So I kind of go frame by frame and looking. One of the things for me, because I thought, is it possibly some sort of satellite? The one thing that kind of throws that off for me is that if these were satellites, you would expect them to travel in this formation the entire time. But if you watch closely to that one on the top, it starts to dip off. Right? Do you see that right there? Like it's no, lo they're no longer following that same trajectory. It takes a dip to the right, and it no longer continues on. Whereas these other two seemingly continue upwards, which, you know, for me, I. You're talking I, about that I, one on the right that goes behind the clouds there. Yeah, but before that, if you look closely, like see how it's it's not in line. Like back here. It's a little lower, a little further behind. It seemingly dips right. Like it, it, its trajectory changes from going upwards to then it goes more right before it disappears behind the clouds. If these are out in atmosphere or anything, refraction and stuff, you, who knows? You I was like, know. yeah, it could be. I mean, that could be a, just a matter of perspective, like the way its trajectory is. I'm How it's getting, going. I'm getting spooked up by the all these orange lights that I keep seeing now. So any orange light I see in the sky, it's getting closer and close to a full gimbal. This is a four for me. Four, four gimbal, like it. Um. All right. Next up, what do we have here? What is that? Thirty four. Oh, this is from, uh, Kiss Kissimmee, Florida. Kissimmee. 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 Um, Kissimmee. This one's cool because this one was shot by someone. Um, flying from Florida 
or flying to Florida from Texas, and they saw something on the plane out the window, and they pulled out their phone and recorded it. Uh, this was recorded August 30th, 2021. So there's a wing of the plane on the flight. It's a foggy flight. And seemingly, there's something. A lot of fog. Spooky. Tailing there's their plane in the mist. Something on the wing. Something. Just a little video. Yeah. Nice mask. Way yeah. to represent. I'd hate to be on taking flights right now and have to wear a mask for like eight hours. Oh, man. But if you look, there is seemingly this person catches some sort of dark object in the clouds. When? Oh, that little, that thing. Pacing the plane. Maybe it's another plane? Squid. I... Sky squid. Well... That's the throwback that I was thinking is that if you guys remember a couple of while ago, we, we saw one of those uh, black squids in the sky. Um, I don't remember where it was from, though. But someone sent it in with a, it seemed like a black object with tails. And that's it. It looks like a Dementor. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm going to pause it right is there. Are pretty the windows much, getting frosty? Pretty much the end of the video. Uh... I mean, is there a chance, like, could a bird be up that high? I know there's some breeds of birds. I don't know birds. how high they are. are I they don't landing think... Are they taking off? Or... Um, well, there, you know, it could be a foggy day, so it could be low. But a bird pacing them, I, I, doubt that, I doubt that a bird would be pacing an airplane. Well, it's not pacing them. Like, you see it for how long? Like yeah, that I, black can't really get, I can't get really a good sense of size, like how... I know they zoom in on it just to get a better look, but so you can kind of right. see it there outside the wing. Because to be honest, when I first saw this video, what I thought I was seeing, I thought I was getting bamboozled by that little notch in the windows. You know, how the all the flight windows have the little notch near the bottom, right? And it wasn't until reviewing it that I went, okay, well, it's not that notch because it's up pretty high on the window, because that would be uh, further down on the screen here, or it could just be another plane. Maybe. Playing through like some fog, some a shadow. Could be a private plane. The little, little charter jet. Yep. Oh. I mean it like doesn't Is this like a dusk at dusk time or like what time of day is this? Uh this is nine fifteen PM. I okay. fucking hope it's not Homelander. Yeah, you better hope it's not Homeland. <laughs> You're going down. Yeah. Um also uh, this one, because it's hard to see. Um, you know, we're seeing through glass, through fog. Um, this person was, you know, weirded out enough to pull the rec phone and record it. Um, but there's just nothing really magnificent about it. you're like, well, I see there's a dark object, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be moving closer. It doesn't seem to be moving away. It's not up and it's not changing, seemingly changing elevation. It's hard because when it zooms in, we lose all reference of everything else. If it is doing anything, um, I, I'm I'm going pretty low on this one. I'm giving it a, a probably a one. I I do believe it's pr probably another plane in the sky. I'd say it's fair fair analysis. Yeah, I'd go with I'm yeah one on yeah. that. Can't really yeah. again low. zooming in, losing kind of reference of size where it is and. Looks kind of foggy. It's not doing anything too crazy. So yeah, it could probably be another plane or something, something mundane. But... Apparently, some breeds of birds can get up to thirty-seven thousand feet. Woo, that's high. Thirty-seven thousand. Right? Yeah, man. Is yeah. it an albatross the, or some shit? The Rupel's Griffin Vulture and the Bar-headed Goose. Zapdos, yeah, Thunderbird. <laughs> yeah. Articuno. <laughs> yeah. He's up there too. What's the other mm. one? I don't know. Vultress. Vultress. Oh, yes. Um, low. I'm going with low as well. I think I, do, I want either the shadow of this plane, another plane, or just a weird cloud in the background. One's all around for the boys. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all around. One's all around. Uh, up next, we have um, some strange 
pill capsule objects in the sky from Fairdale KY. Is that what is Kentucky? KY? Kentucky. Yeah. Um, this was submitted October 7th, 2021. I hope those aren't those Chinese murder drones that we were just talking about. Um, the interesting thing about this one is uh, the submitter said they observed these two objects. They have a plane in this video at some point um, because they they insist these aren't planes. In fact, they say in their description of MUFON case 118485 that the flight radar didn't show these two objects in the sky when they went and searched it up afterwards. Um, they traveled southwest to west on opposite side of this person's porch. Uh, they pulled out their phone to record it because they'd never seen anything like this, and they immediately reported the incident. Um, they also included a video of an airplane as comparison to show the difference. Um, so we're going to see that in a momentarily here, but we see these two capsule seemingly tic-tac objects flying at high altitude. And then in a moment here, I believe we're going to have a airplane footage from his back porch, which he's used to seeing because he sits out there and uh, I guess he has a tall glass of lemonade every night. I, I don't know if he has a lemonade. Which, one's the, which one is the... It's mint juleps in Kentucky. And that's, <laughs> the that's a plane. That's a plane. That's what he's showing. He says he sees that all the time. Okay. okay. But what he doesn't see... Are those? Is it that that plane? <laughs> What's the difference? Well, he's saying that these are silver Tic Tac uh, UFOs. It's a smaller it, plane. It looks like planes reflecting in the sun. Yeah. I, I I'll have to agree. Like this one just looks like like even where the planes flying, you can see the clouds aren't illuminated here, right? So it, it's definitely flying. It's a different time of day, different angle of the sun. And the like video it, cuts. And the video, suspiciously for me here, this is the unedited. This is the, like, I fade it at the end of the video. But if you notice where that footage cut, it cuts right before that plane's about to get where it's seemingly going to hit some sun. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, This again, uh, for, you know, looking at it, we've said this before. Um, if, if, if you believe you're seeing UFO, send it in because there's no harm in sending it in. No, nope, but I think this a... video is just another excellent video of human ingenuity showing two flights in air at high altitude, uh, with the sun, mankind's being mastery of the air, <laughs> because like the, the speed, the speed is, there's nothing exceptional. The speed's not exceptional. The like direct, there's no directional movement. It seems to me like a couple planes in the sky. Like I've seen this and I've never thought to myself, uh, this is UFOs. And as you can see, this person is seemingly looking out the back away from their house where later on they're looking towards their house into the shade and they cut the video before that plane gets into the sun. Yeah, zero. Yeah, I, That's a plane, baby. Zero. That's all the planes. <laughs> Those, uh, yeah, those seem big old goose egg here, but those seem like those seem like planes. No judgment on the person who sent it in, but they do seem like planes, just light uh, reflecting off a certain angle, making them look like they are kind of circular, but you're just getting reflection. So, I mean, that's that's what it seems like, anyways. And I mean, if you saw repeated ones, maybe, but even then, yeah, I mean, the only the only the only thing with this one is the person saying that they checked the flight tracker. And they didn't see these on there, but but like which flight tracker? Well, and he's going yeah. he's going to the effort to cut the video before the plane goes into the light and like, stuff. Like it, I think he's trying to sell this pretty hard. Yeah, and uh, I'm, like I said, if you if you think you see something, you have footage, send it in. You should you should submit it. To yeah, and then like if that guy had left out some notes and been like, I checked the what flat flight tracker you checked, and what time like what what information did you feed them to? for the tracking the flights like oh this time that like this time this day at however much altitude or like i don't know i i would like to see that i'd like to see what uh steps they took to 
to check their their flight tracker or were they just like checking times of flights or something i don't know um this last one here um this is actually a local one for three of us this oh. is the only video i was just curious this is the only ufo video submitted to move on from west Kelowna, british columbia interesting uh, in, all right in all the history of this this is back in 2014 um july 17th at around 4 p.m and if you remember we had a big uh fire in the back of smith creek mm -hmm. around that year and uh let's let's start the clip i'll fast forward it i kept the entire clip it's from the news whatever news is cut off i imagine because this local is probably casting it this came from uh the submitter saw this on tv noticed the ufo uh, called the station, asked for the footage. This, uh, this, it doesn't say the news station. The news station basically told them to pound sand. Luckily, they PVR'd it, saved the video, and submitted it to move on. Uh, but, Zell, right away, you'll recognize this guy. Okay. So this is the Smith Creek fire of uh, 2014. This is from a news report. That's why we're getting all this, these uh, stationaries. I kept the whole video only because we get a good close-up of our old buddy, Wayne Schnitzler. Hey, hey, Zelly. Uh, Chief old, Schnitzler. Chief Schnitzler, fire chief. Uh, absolute beauty that guy is. Um, but I'll fast forward it. So if you're watching here, we we get a good clip of the air bomber coming down and watch the clouds at the top of the screen. Rank one, rank two, rank three. Uh, they say rank three to four in there now. Watching. Uh, from there, we'll just take a uh, look at the fire behavior. As we know, teaming up still with that. Oh, I've seen something there. And then yeah, it cuts out. Cool. Uh, it finishes the news clip. Now, I've slowed it down a couple times because what this person points out is it seemingly, like, explodes through the clouds and leaves a little bit of a trail right there. As it cuts out, I've slowed it down a couple times and I believe I got one zoomed in one. This is a poor quality video to start with. And even then when you zoom it in, it gets even grainier. But you can see the cloud, like the cloud tail seemingly pushing when it blows through the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, let's almost go back. looks like a bird opening its wings, though, when you see it. Like, when it comes through, it looks like it's kind of, like, diving and then opens its wing at the end there. You guys only have one of those bird. Only one of those fire planes? Like, the... Um, well, no, the bird, the bird dog would be going around before that one. Um, We've got tons of bombers. Th and yeah. this year, at was it this fire? No, it wasn't this fire. It was the fire on West Side Road. But this same year, um, I was actually on the road, West Side Road, when one of those um, bombers crashed into the water, just like a couple kilometers from me. And I heard it. It was yeah, pretty crazy. But usually, like, the bird dog will come in and do, like, a swoop first before yeah. the the bomber comes in, just to do, like, observation like, and spotting and shit like so that. So there's but... a big... There's a bomber. But... And then, boom. There's a... I mean, it looks fucking cool. Looks like Superman shooting through the fucking it does. clouds. <laughs> you can see the yeah, the actual cloud like poofs out. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a. I thought it was a cool video, and I, I had to include it because it's the only video ever submitted, uh, you know, from our hometown. So, uh, what do we think? What do we think this could possibly be? Shit. I mean, it is a it is a fire in a residential neighborhood, so there will be a lot of human air traffic around, but. I don't know. You does it, it's hard to tell what that is because it's like it just looks like an orb shooting through the cloud. Zell, where did you live in 2014? Where did I live? Yeah. On Francis Avenue. He did not live uh, in Smith Smith Creek. Didn't yeah, but you had did you have family up there? You still had family up there, didn't you? Not in Smith Creek, but my parents live right Around below. There. Yeah. What does your last name mean again? Man of Steel. That's Superman. Zell. <laughs> Coming in to save the fucking um, day. Well, and Flying another interesting out. thing, if, if people who listen to our podcast have heard the story of me and Mr. Conspiracy, uh, where we had, we don't know if we had some sort of encounter with something, 
and it would be in these hills that we're looking at now. Right. So, um, there, I have personal experience in that area. And the interesting thing to me is that it's, I've never seen a plane fly through the clouds like that, where you get, it's, it looks like it pushes the clouds away. Um, it, I mean, really cool optics. I have no idea what it is. Um, why don't we start at the bottom? Zero to gimbal. Better give it a three again. I mean, it's cool. It gives us that dynamic movement. You know, it's fucking clipping. I have no other. I have no other idea what it could be. I don't know. I it just. I've never seen anything like that before. In that in that freeze frame right there, it looks like now it looks like an aircraft kind of turning and reflecting. Yeah, it does. I like that's what kind of same when I thought it looked like a bird opening up, but yeah, it looks like a, a maybe it's the bird dog coming flying back around. Maybe. Maybe. Hail spins. I can't I mean, even yeah, get I'd that freeze frame again. I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably go with a I you know. Hey, it looks it looks neat. I'd give it a one just for looking real cool, but I would assume that yeah, if there's a large fire going on that there would be a number of aircraft in the area doing stuff. Well, no, so. that but that's the thing though. Like if if you got your bird dog and you have your bomber, otherwise everybody else get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. So All yeah. The so then I would. That's up. what I'm saying. I was like, wouldn't there be at least like one or two aircrafts? But like, here's the and, thing. Here's well, the thing, though. The thing is, the the lakes on behind this video, where this video is being shot, the lakes on the other side. So this is seemingly over the mountains. It's like, I don't know why that would be flying there if it's one of these crafts because it, they'd seemingly be scooping up from the lake behind, right? But I, I don't know. I don't think you're going to see a fucking bomber moving like that either. No. Like, if anything, it could be the bird dog. But there I, is an international airport in Kelowna. So, you know, um, I don't of the know. other end of the world, though. Yeah. It, it, yeah. But like I'm saying, it, so there is flight paths overhead. I mean, we might have nukes. Don't have a sign. We, we don't I know. haven't seen There's the sign. no sign that says nuke free zone. So we it's a possibility. So. Uh, Dan, yeah. what did what did you say? You gave it a one. Yeah, I gave it a one. Probably, it's interesting to look at, but I'd still say yeah, there's got to be some, probably some type of aircraft like banking through the clouds, coming back around, take a look, or you know, either air or other air traffic because it's far enough away to be yeah. like, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go because I have a strong suspicion it is aircraft, just because the proximity to the fire. And like we got the like our attack of bombers in BC now we used to use like those big the big Mars bomber like yeah. huge water bomber and now we have like a it's like a string of like eight small bombers that will like go scoop yeah and as Andrew said there's like a lead plane which is directing and then all these eight will come in after another boom 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 and they'll drop like smaller amounts but like more precise Blitzkrieg. and so I think it's uh it's either one of those that had has already dropped and it's taken off or it's the scout plane. And it just looks, it looks like a UFO cause it's, it shoots out of the, out of the cloud like that. And it's like directly in the sun. So it gives it like an orb kind of yeah. style. I mean, I see blue all the time and tailspins ripping through clouds just like that. Yeah. Leave a little trail. It's fucking, uh, I'm going to give it, it cool. I'm going to give it a low score for the reason that, you know, it's, it, it's just not enough footage. Like, had this submitter been, they, you know, they contacted the news station. Again, I, I'm, I've got to assume it's Castanet just because of the area. It might be global. Um, but they, they contacted them immediately after and, and said, hey, can I get the full footage? I think you guys captured a UFO. And they said, uh, no, absolutely Kick not. Rocks. Beat it. Um, this is a serious news organization. Because it's too bad because it would have been nice to see the, the footage of the area like before and after it cuts because you know maybe it caught it turning and we could be, be like you know 100 percent, it's an aircraft uh, that's it but it's we just don't have enough like from that for me to say that's a, a gimbal without a doubt from that what is it two seconds of footage that's a mm -hmm. it's a it's a that's a tough sell for me so i'm gonna give it a two um for optics and you know and for the person just good eye on them because I, I was glued yeah. to I was glued yeah. to Schnitzler. <laughs> well, old Wayne Schnitzler. Yeah. What a Who's beauty. 
All right. Well, that's it for the weekly UFO review uh, number six. You know, you can follow us on, you know, wherever you want to follow us down below. Uh, if you like the show, you want to get into our podcast. Our podcast is available wherever podcasts are uh, listened to. And if you want to support the show, you can support us at patreon.com slash alien theorist podcast. Uh, and as Dan wants us to say from now on, keep those eyes out for fives. Keep those eyes on the fives. Uh, we're still workshopping. We're workshop. Keep those eyes on those guys. <laughs> Peace. Peace. To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.